Hi and welcome everyone to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on growing corn from start to finish. We're going to go over everything you're going to need and the steps that you need to take to uh, grow the corn. And all the way to the finish, even going to the uh, selling. So the first I want to go over some equipment that you're going to have to have. This is uh, my weeder. We're going to need that when the weeds comes up to... Uh, get rid of those uh, this big thing right here on the back of the tractor is a plow you're gonna need that or a plow and then a tractor to pull it and that tractor I'm gonna use for this this is a cedar to uh, seed the corn with this is a harvester and a header that's my uh, newest addition to the family it's a hundred foot header I'll show you guys that this is a fertilizer. You'll need that. And the, the property I'm going to be purchasing, um, I've already looked at it. It needs lime. So I've got one of these for lime, which is this one. And then I've got this one here for fertilizer. And the way I can tell the difference in, is this one's got one uh, wheel for that, and this one's got two. So that's how I can easily tell which one's the uh, lime and which one's the fertilizer. You'll need a trailer. And you'll need a truck to transport. Alright, so that's pretty much what you're going to need to be able to do this from start to finish. The first thing I'm going to do is purchase some land. So you just go to your menu. And I'm going to switch to my mouse. Oh, by the way, I'm on PC and I'm using a controller for the most part. But when I get to these menus, I do use a mouse to uh, go through that as it's a lot easier. So the field I'm going to pick today is going to be 30. So you go over here and you click land. And then we'll click 30. I do want to buy that. Okay so, okay, so I want to show you how that I know that this field needs lime. We'll go ahead and spread the lime first. So if you go to your maps right here, you'll see right here field 30, which is, where's my mouse? Wrong mouse. Okay, so you see field 30 here. It's a light... Tur messed up. Is that turquoise? Light blue, light green, I don't know. Uh, but that color there, and right here where it says needs lime. So I'm going to go ahead and put lime on it. As I put lime on it, and I'll show you, you'll see where the lines are. I'm going to get out of this tractor, go to this other tractor. Now if the field does not le uh, need lime, you can skip this step. And I'm going to show you where you can get uh, this lime and or fertilizer spreader. Because this the same machine will do both. But the reason I chose this machine and that other machine is basically so I can uh, tell the difference between them. So let's go here. Let's go back over here. Oh, there it is. Fertilizer spreader. So here's the two right here. So I got this one for fertilizer. Now... If you notice, it says it does 12 meters. Right here where it says um, spreader system, it says spreading disc. And if you click to the right, it says a 6 meter spreading unit. And you see it popped up. Let me turn this thing around where you can see it. On the back right here. That's without it. And then it'll just spread it out right here. And it does 12 meters. And if you put this on there, it spreads out of those two. And it does 18 meters. So, I absolutely suggest when you buy this or rent it, either way, put this on there because it's going to make a big difference. And this one here is the same thing. You got that, and that's 12 meters, and then you put that on there, and it's uh, 18 meters. That is uh, worth the extra money just so you can throw that stuff a little bit uh, quicker. Anyway, I got this one. So you just kind of, when you're working with it, you're going to have to kind of uh, figure out where to go. I'd say about right here. So now I'm going to put it on cruise control. When I put it on cruise control right here, it's going to go as fast as the uh, line machine will let it, which is 12 miles an hour, as you saw on the screen there. And when I do that, when I let off of the uh, right bumper... I'm hold, still holding down the left bumper, so there's right and left, and I let off the right, and you see it says turn on fertilizer spreader. So I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to hit to go, and then I'm letting off, and then I'm going to hit 
fertilizer. See, I'm too far out. And the beauty about this is you can see it really easy. There's no mistaking where you're putting the stuff. Now, when I first started, I missed that little edge because I was just a little bit too far over. And I want to show you something that's really cool about the map. Now, I could have put this stuff on before I... Okay, now we'll cut it off right there and then we hit the brakes to cut off the uh, cruise control. Now, let's go to the map. Now, if you look right here at the map, it shows you what you missed. And you can zoom in. Now, sometimes there's little spots that you might have missed, but you can see where I missed right here. And that's the, the good thing about this map. And one of the reasons why we have to do the lime first is because when we want to do the fertilizer, there is a two-step. As you see, there's two colors right here. You're going to apply a first uh, fertilizing, and it's going to be this lighter blue. Later on, you're going to put this another coat of fertilizer on there, and it's going to turn it dark blue. But if your field needs lime, you're not going to see that. All you're going to see is the lime. It will not show you where you fertilize. So that's why we're liming. A, the field needs it, and B, we're not going to be able to see on the map-wise. You'll be able to see on the ground, but you won't see on the map-wise uh, where you've already been. I forget what the lime does to the field. It helps it somehow or another grow. So I'm going to go straight down. I'll take care of that little spot over there in just a second. I like to make uh, straight and even lines if I can, so that's why I'm not going to you know, attempt to go over. All right, I'm going to cut the spreader off. I'm going to leave cruise control on. And we'll just hit this right here. And get rid of that. I'm leaving cruise control on. I want to get a semi-wide shot at this so I kind of line it up best I can. And I'm a little I'm overlapping a little bit. When you own your land. You kind of need to overlap just a little. But on uh, contract jobs, you won't have to. You can leave little spots here and there, and it'll clean it up for you after it, uh, after you complete it. Um, yeah, I was thinking about it before I was, while I was thinking about making this video about making, like, seeds, fertilizer, and uh, this stuff here, lime, to fill up my equipment quicker. But sometimes I'll buy uh, up to eight like fertilizer bags or something and it just you know you just have to sit there and wait for it i want it to fill it a little quicker than what it does all right so we're done here now you can go to the map okay see right here i missed just a smidgen and yes that stuff bothers me so i am going to go get it but I don't know exactly where it's at. We'll see if we can see it. But I may have to go to the map. Okay, I see it. It's right there. All right, so we'll cover that up. Check the map again. There it goes. Okay, so my field is now ready to plow. Let's go apply it one more time uh, to put that uh, under. And then we're going to uh, start with the seeding part of it. All right. I'm going to lower the plow. I'm going to put it back down to a uh, dirt level like you're, you. This is what you're normally going to be seeing. 
I can keep the tractor straight. And again, I'm going to uh, pick it up on the end. This is an extra step that normally you won't have to take. I should have mentioned that earlier. But it's, it's a good idea, actually, to show you this because if anybody runs into why they don't see where they've been with the fertilizer on the map, then uh, if you've watched this video, you know why now. And then what you got to do to fix it. So... The reason it's important to see where you've been on the map is because sometimes when you're fertilizing contract jobs, the uh, whatever it is they're growing is up. And sometimes it's up enough to where you can't really see it on the field. And so if that's the case, you want to... Uh... Oh, crap. Sorry, buddy. You want to be able to go to the map and see where you've been. And I have done fields that needs lime. But um, somebody else owns it and it, it won't come up on the... on the. Alright, so we're going to put corn down. So you get you a planter like this one. And this header is also hopped up. Well, I say it was hopped up. Nine mile an hour, it seems to be average. So the way the cruise control works with a machine attached, if anybody does not know. I've got cruise control set for 28 miles an hour, as you see if you look on your bottom right hand corner of the screen. And you see where it says 8 miles an hour, 9 miles an hour. And then right below that in the orange, it says 28 miles an hour. So that's what I have the cruise set on. 28 miles an hour. But it's only doing 8 miles an hour, 9 miles an hour, 7 miles an hour. I'm going up a hill. Tractor struggling just a hair. That is because the sower has it in uh, its coating that it only will allow you to do 9 miles an hour. The next thing we're going to do after we plant this is fertilize. I would like to check something I've never checked on the map. Let me stop this right quick. I want to see... Okay. Um, you have choices right here to make. I've got it on soil composition. So it's showing me what state the soil's in, although brown isn't listed on here. But that's the state of that soil. Now if we go back, it says the growth. Right here is where I planted the corn. And if I've missed any, it's going to show uh, this light blue. So what does that stand for? That's plowed. So this land has been plowed. And now I'm putting corn down. So you can see uh, where I planted the corn. Now, let me get down with this because we're going to talk about that some more. Just finish this row right here. We're going to talk about uh, fast-forwarding time and stuff like that because I, I can't sit here and wait for this stuff to grow. And, of course, I'll probably just um, cut the time lapse out of it or, you know, the time it takes to fast-forward. To get the stuff to grow. Alright, we're almost at the end. Get this over so I don't miss. If you did miss a section, you just go right back over it and uh, re plant it. Alright, so I'm going to hit the stop button. I'm going to hit the cut off button, which is the X. I'm going to hit the lift button, which is the B. I forgot to say I had it. I had the left uh, bumper mashed. Okay. We're going to fold it up. It's left bumper and hit the A. If you're using a uh, controller like I am. Okay, so this field's done. The next step is fertilize.
We're going to jump in this tractor. This is my dedicated tractor for fertilizing and liming. I very, very rarely ever use it for anything else. And it normally just stays hooked up to this uh, fertilizer or so many fertilizer jobs that uh, I just leave it hooked up to that. And the only reason I got a limer is because my own field needs to be limed every once in a blue moon. Okay, so I did left bumper, hit the A button, I unfolded the uh, this back section spreader or whatever you want to call it. All right, so the only thing I have to do is turn on fertilizer, but I'm going to hit cruise control first. Cruise control, then I let off the right bumper, and when it gets right to the edge, I hit fertilizer. This thing is has a wider spread to it than my other one does. I have up the spread of this. I had a fertilizer. I don't want to go up the hill too fast. I'm not used to it. <laughs> yeah, I forget what I upped it to, but it's more than 18 meters. I left the uh, other one on 18 meters. Oh, no. I got squigglies. Okay, let me turn this off. I want to show you the map. Okay, so on this one, on the growth, it's all a light green. So let me talk about that for a second. This growing are these shades. There's four steps. When you first plant, it's this lightest green color. It's almost a yellow. And then there's the next step. Uh, this color here is just a shade darker than that. And that is a step number two, which that's going to turn to that. Step number three is uh, this green here. This actually green right here, too, is the third step. As you can see, it's the third step in your growing stage. And then the fourth step is this dark green, which 23 here. That field is the fourth step. That's the final step uh, for growing, for the growing process. Then you got your ready to harvest, which we'll talk about when, uh, when this gets ready. But the next thing I want to talk about is soil composition now remember i was telling you about the two shades of blue for fertilizing so you see where i've been it's the lighter blue okay my field right here is the darker blue that's the lighter blue and that's the darker blue so i've done fertilized my field uh twice and this field's been fertilized once it'll pop up to need fertilizing again i don't own this field though but anyway, that's your two shade colors for the fertilizer. And just like with lime, we see where we've been. And if I miss a spot, we're going to see it show up on the map. And you can, I'm zoomed in all the way, but you can zoom into this and see where you missed. So let's finish uh, getting this. If I can hit the right buttons. I want to start over with this. It just will reach both sides, I think. That's pretty wide right there. It's almost missing right there. It is missing a little bit to the left. Now, we're going to see if that will show up on the map or not. I see it's really close to missing on both sides, actually. I would have been better off if I'd have just uh, no. It says it. It says it's got it all. Looks like I might have missed there, but it doesn't show any brown. So I'm going to say it got it all. Okay, let's fold it back up. We'll just put this right here. Okay, now. We're going to wait for weeds. That's the next thing that's going to pop up. I actually do see a spot that I missed. 
all up and down and this side right here all right okay so this this did show up on the map let me hit my map button right here this this is just it's not showing the brown but that is a clear miss so let's unfold that back Okay, we're going to hit cruise. This is not a problem if you're doing contract jobs, but if you're doing your own, like I'm doing right here, then you're going to want to uh, make sure you get all these little spots because it will not render once you're complete. Now you see how this does 24 miles an hour? I up the speed and I up the uh, width. Okay. Now let's look at the map. Now, did you see it? It rendered. So it was showing that it missed. It just wasn't showing that brown underneath. But now it's all completed. Okay, so now the next phase is going to be weeding. Somewhere on here, weeds are going to start popping up. And they'll pop up in blocks at a time. And since we started seeding over here and fertilizing first on this side, I would assume it would pop up right here. So what I want to do is fast forward time. Let's put that on growth, and then we're going to fast forward time. So the way to do that is go into the tractor mode. And you see time scale right here. It says real time. Okay, we're going to pop it to the left. And that's 120 times uh time advancement and if you look at the clock i had to get off the map if you look at the well i can't move my mouse up there but if you go look at the top right hand corner where that round uh, clock is you see how fast it's going by so on it look at all the white man i'm gonna have a lot of cotton to get up i used to didn't get cotton i need to look uh Oh my gosh. Okay, so our field has turned colors. And look at all the fields that are ready. I can't take it. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, look. Okay, stop this time. <laughs> okay, real time. Now, you see the weeds that come up? It come up with the corn, though. So, corn is that. Weeds is that. So, we will get the weed. It's supposed to show you weeds on here. Let's go back and look. Okay, growth, fruit types, and soil. Okay, yeah, there's weeds. See the weed color? It's like a pink. So we're going to get rid of that. That's the next step in uh, farming, growing corn. I'm going to tell you a little secret here. This uh, weeder right here, I tried for a while to figure out how to make it go faster. Well, they designed it with a trick to make it go faster. You have to tap the X button twice, and this thing will go faster. As a matter of fact, it goes as fast as the tractor will go. All right, so I unfolded it. Now I'm going to hit the left bumper, and I'm going to lower. And we're going to weed. So while I've got it pressed, so I double tap. Uh-oh. Hold on here. Man, I forget how to do it. Oh, I forgot how to do it. You double, you double tap. There it is. It's the A button. You double tap it, and this thing will do as fast as you want it to. Now this uh, weeder right here has a tendency of missing spots, but anyway, you can see uh, where we're where we're getting the weeds. 
The map is very, very useful. The map down the uh, lower left-hand side. I hope that they uh, put the uh, what you're doing in that. Do you understand what I'm saying? In other words, uh, show the progress, and if you missed a strip or something on that, instead of uh, where I have to click on the bigger map to see it all the time. So we're gonna. So I've done gone over most of the uh, field. I did miss a little bit. I noticed, but we're gonna go on the map. So I missed some right there, and then the uh, I missed this strip, and then this corner and that corner. Let's see. Okay, it's to my left. Now this thing. Let me back it up some more because this thing will hang. Some of that stuff is transparent. It You can go right through it. Alright, that should take care of that. Check my map. Okay. We'll go up here and get this corner. Then get the next corner. And we're done with weeding. All right, cool deal. So all the weeds have been got. That is your next step on growing corn. <clears throat> the next step is uh, <clears throat> letting it grow. And we're going to fertilize it now. The game makes you wait so long before you can fertilize it twice. I don't know how long that is. We can attempt to fertilize it now and see. Oops, wrong button. <clears throat> and see if uh, it'll let us do it right now or not. You want to do it when the corn or whatever it is you're growing is small. And that way you can see where you've been. But like I was saying earlier... Like I was saying earlier, uh, sometimes the the um, the crop is so thick you can't see the um, the floor of it, the dirt. All right, let's uh, let's see if it shows up, and it is showing up. So we're gonna go on through with this. This will be the Final fertilizing step. I'm pretty sure it's showing up. I'm going to take another quick look. Oh yeah, I see it coming off of the uh, off the fertilizer. I can't believe I missed a spot down there. Okay, so you can see the darker section and the lighter section. You see it? But anyway, you can see it right there if you look real good. The, on the right-hand side, you see it's the dirt part of it is just a little darker. And this over here is lighter. Okay, so you can see. See, I missed on the very far side right here, but I meant to do that. And then I missed right over here on the left. How I missed that, I don't know. I see it right there. Yep, I did miss it. Alright, that looks like it. There's a little... little lighter color to it. Okay, but anyway. So, we're at the final stage of fertilizing. Okay, so... Fold up this. Pull this to the side. All 
All right, so let's see what stage it's at. So it's on uh, the second stage. So you got this stage to go and then that stage to go. So let's... The readiness, let me show you since I got 23 right here. The ready to harvest, when it hits this color here, you can harvest it. So that, that's that color. Then you got a darker orange. You got an even darker orange. And I'll show you those uh, steps with these. Because when, when this is uh, getting ready, that one's going to get under over ready. We'll go ahead and fast forward time again. Go back to our map. When it comes to the sailing part, this is, you go to this right here, icon. And this is where all the uh, uh, different places are selling. This symbol is corn. So the way it works is, we're going to be focusing on corn because that's what we're growing. Uh-oh. I mean, it's time's changed. Nothing's changed down here. So crazy. Okay. So we're focusing on corn. That's not corn. That's corn. Now, if you want to see the leader, because this is all jumbled up, 975, 1,096, yada, yada. Click on corn. And what it will do is it'll put the top paying person selling point 150. Selling point 150 is me. I have a selling point, and that's me. I'm going up. Hopefully, we'll get to harvest that and sell it there. It won't matter. I'm not going to keep it. But this is how you know where to take your uh, products. Oh, this is another thing I didn't tell you about. Um, on your... On your bottom right, of course, you can't see it. The sun's coming up there here in just another about an hour. But I'm over the field. On the bottom right, it tells you info about the field. It says who it's owned by. This one, I purchased it. The fruit type, which is corn growth, says it's growing. It's 100% fertilized, and it's a 0% weed. Now, if there was a spot in here that wasn't fertilized and or had a weed or two in it as you walk across this it would change those numbers uh, on that bottom right so if you've missed a section now I'm going through and nothing's changed it's 100% fertilized all the way across and it's 100% weeded uh, everywhere I go but let's say if it wasn't you would be able to see those numbers change on that bottom right that's that's really cool uh, really helpful Corn's really growing. It ain't going to be long. It, that's another stage right there. Okay. So as you can see, this is turned into a, a darker orange. 23. So there's your first stage, which is the lighter orange. Then that's the next stage, darker orange. And then the final stage is this even darker orange. And this is on the third stage of growth I'm still letting the time go fast you can sit here and watch it and it'll it'll pop up there it is you see it it just popped up there look at it okay so it's on its final step before ready to be harvested that's on its final readiness that's ready and that is either sugar beets or potatoes. It's sugar beets. That's ready, sugar beets. Everything except for just a handful of things are ready. Golly. I just want to go get all these things. But nope. We're just doing field 30 today. Let's see if corn's... Yep, corn started going down. So I've got a silo. And let's talk about that for a minute. If you if you get a silo, or if you just get a trailer and you and you don't need it uh, for anything else, you can just leave the corn in the trailer until these numbers goes up, if you want to. You can sell them like they are, just sell them to the highest uh, point. But... Um, if you wanted to hold on to it till the prices goes back up and get the most money out of it, which is what I do, then you can do that. 
if you have a silo, you can put it in a silo. And right here, I don't have any corn in the silo. And it can stay in the silo until this number or whatever number goes up. And I've actually got a sheet of paper with uh, the highest paying um, spots on here for each of these. Let me... There it goes. All right. So it is now. Awesome. I done got all that. Okay. So there it is. There's the first. Let me cut time back now. There's the first stage of ready for harvest. Now it doesn't matter when you get this. Uh, you won't yield a greater field there than you will there or there so as soon as it becomes ready to be harvested you can go ahead and, and get it which is what we're going to do okay i want to jump into my big bad harvester with my this is a hundred foot header on this thing this is an overkill and a half for what we're doing, but I'm going to see if it'll do this whole field in one shot. <laughs> Look at that, it will. Okay, so I've, I've unfolded my header. Then I'm going uh, to hit the left bumper. We're going to lower the header. And now we're going to turn it on, or turn on the harvester, rather. And then we're going to get it, all of it, at once. I can't even get far enough back to see the edges. Look how it fill up, fills up my harvester. <laughs> it's at 100%. Okay, we're going to fold header. We'll stick the pipe out. <laughs> see, that's uh, the D-pad. You uh, push down on it. And the pipe comes out. Now I have upped <clears throat> the empty speed on this. I'm pretty sure. So it should dump fairly quick. I'm pretty popular. Alright, so about done with that. We'll go collect the rest of it. Let's lower the header. We're going to cut it on with X. The harvester, that is. We're going to finish getting the rest of this. One swipe, we got it all. Alright, so we're going to turn off harvester. We're going to fold out the pipe. Go dump the rest of this. So the uh, I have not up the uh, um, the crap, the out fill, <laughs> the despat, depatch, deep off. Oh, forget it. Okay. So anyway, here's the truck. Okay. So let's check one last time. Wrong one. Okay, so there's corn. It is highlighted. So the highest paying one is, is still my sell point. 1473. So let's go ahead and take that and dump that. That's at my farm. Down at the bottom of the screen, it says start overloading. So that's the right bumper and yellow. Oh, I did the left bumper. Right bumper and yellow. And there you go. I just made $42,506. And that is everything that you need to know to start, start to finish. How to prep the land. How to uh, grow. Uh, weed. 
fertilize, and then eventually harvest. And that's going to do it for today. And I appreciate everyone that watches. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's another something else that you'd like to see done. Some kind of other tutorial. But other than that, please like, subscribe. And I hope everybody has a good day. Peace out.